There's not much activity down here. Um, so I have citrus fruits, which is basically oranges. Not just yummy, 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 yummy oranges. So this is a quick look at the world's most well-fed people. Um, so we haven't met any players yet. So we're third with one, which isn't too bad. Um, so they're finished building that. Uh, I'm not sure if we can build anything on here yet. We'll have a quick look. I don't think you can. Um, normally it tells you. We'll see you in a minute. Um, next turn. So it's recommending we build like farms here. Which is pretty cool. So we just found Brussels. Where's that? Ooh, hello. So many city states near me, isn't there? Uh, one, two, three. They're surrounded by city states. So we have to be very, very careful that we don't annoy them. So we do need to unlock masonry, which is a little bit annoying, but. So at the beginning of this game, it is a little bit quiet. It, not a lot's going on. We're just trying to explore the map. Um, not go, and not try and annoy anyone, <laughs> pretty much. So what have we found now? So we found another one, what the hell? It's bonkers. There's so many of them. Aha. There's a, a ruin over here. So the monument is almost done. Uh, so we can construct a... Let's chop down the forest. And then we can build a farm after that as well. So chopping down forest gives us uh, some production costs, which means we speed up the process not of the building up. stuff. Which is really nice. There's some horses and some fish there as well, so we can uh, get some extra food in the ocean. I'm not sure if we can actually walk past this bit. It's a massive mountain in our way. It's really tempting to build that now. I'm not sure. Um, it is good because it does give us plus five faith. Um, I don't know. It's a difficult decision. This is like when you get to these little points, you're not really sure what to do, but. I'm going to go for that now, and then we're going to focus on production. Um, let's see if we can get it done as quick as possible. Fingers crossed we can get it done nice and quick. Um, what the hell was that? We've got archery already. Oh, sweet. You now have a ranged unit. Oh, yeah. So, what's happened here? We've, um, we've gone to a ruin. Apparently, they found some advanced weaponry um, so basically the scouts have been upgraded to archery men which is pretty cool because we haven't actually researched that at the moment so now we can construct so far can we walk past this? we cannot let's go over here, see what's up here we can go up to here another ruin, so it's getting towards so I think we're pretty much near the top of the map because the ice means we're near the top pretty much Based like the North Pole. So Rome has grown again. Well, hello. We've seen 13 culture, which is really nice. So we should get a social policy next turn. So these are barbarians. Uh, the barbarians aren't really um, a part of an active sort of city or state, but they are mega annoying. They are pretty strong at the start. Um, and they do attack you. Which is really, really annoying. They can set fire to things, ruin basically your flow. It's, it does become quite annoying, but you can take them out, and they, it does stop them from spawning, which is very, very useful. Um, so try and carry on exploring down here, and hopefully they, they ignore us. We hope. Fingers crossed. Please stop. I have some information that may be of use. Oh, map policy, as I said, because we were lucky enough to uh, get some get some culture, which is very nice. So culture is very very important like, for this one. Uh, warrior code, fifteen percent production uh, when training melee units, and a great general appears outside the capital. Oh, happy day! So. Only one military unit can occupy a tile at a time. 
So the game is very, very difficult at the, at the start if you just start playing, but it's so worth buying. It's definitely worth checking out. You can play multiplayer as well. You can play along with your mates, which is really, really nice. I've been doing that a lot lately. So this is a special unit you get um, for um, just going in the right direction sort of thing. I'm not really 100% sure why you get them, but it's going to keep like, improving researching and getting certain points towards different things like culture, faith, etc, etc. And the more happiness you have, the more it goes towards the golden age, which means you get loads of more profit, uh, the production goes up, more gold, more culture. So it's a very, very important time for you. Um, so the more happiness you have, the better. That's why stuff like um, Colosseums are really important. Uh, the circus, which you wouldn't think is that important, but it does make the, the people happy, which is really good. So the generals that you can take, um, go back down here actually. Um, nope, just move this quickly. As it is flat land, they, they can do two steps. Um, if, if it was over like a lump, I can do only, I only do one because it takes more time to move. So these guys, they're really, really important, but they can be killed pretty quickly, which can be a little bit annoying to be honest. But. So you can see the city states are slowly building as well and growing. So they're sort of extending outwards. So these little guys are still moving around at the top. There's not going to be too much up here to be honest. Like I said, it's pretty much the North Pole. There's not going to be many resources up here. But it's a good way of exploring. The archers should be able to defend themselves for quite some time. It's a quite an advanced unit for this stage. Uh, it's 2500 BC, so it's still quite early on in the life cycle of man. So let's just skip that. Episode. So that is a citadel. So what is this? Um, it's, it's basically what you get for a great general. You can smack them down. You get loads of bonuses for having units inside there, such as like 50% extra defense. And it's a good way of uh, just defending yourself. It's also a good way of expanding your borders. So you can see I've expanded it. So now I've got, almost got activity over here. More activity so I can build and cut down more, more lumber and limber and wood and build, and build farms around here as well, which is pretty cool. That's kind of, I think we're going as far as we can up there, to be honest. So I almost could finish trapping as well, which would be really nice. Go to the next turn. It should be done, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Even brute beasts and wandering birds do not fall into the same traps or nets. So you've got uh, deer, truffle, ivory, fur. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, we could do with some more workers at this stage. We've only got one set of workers. We could probably do with two or maybe even three. Perhaps that's pushing it a little bit. Um, we'll go for masonry next because we need to build our, our masonry thingy over here for the sugar. So we found some uh, barbarians, but they're fortified within here so they get um, extra defense, which basically means they're stronger. They'll be pretty tough to beat. So at the moment, Brussels is being attacked. Well, not, I can't actually see who by, but I'm guessing it's just like barbarians or something. You can see that I haven't seen truffles before, so they're just pigs, which is quite interesting. They've got crabs as well. So they've got quite a few nice luxury items. Some I haven't actually seen before, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to carry on looking up here. Oh god. So we can attack, even though there's water and ice in between us, we can fire some nice little arches across. So you can see our gold has slowly creeped up. Uh, and we can go to purchase and purchase items outright. But it does cost a lot more. I wouldn't advise it at the early stages, perhaps when you're at war. Uh, so I can buy like a shrine. So it just ignores the fact that it does take eight, five turns to build it. You just build it outright, bang, and you're done. So we've just unlocked the copper. So as our Rome has expanded, the borders have got bigger. So we can build another uh, thing for that. Another mine. We're going to attack these barbarians again. There's only one guy left. Minus 40 damage. So it's doing quite a bit of damage. And we're going to slowly get an XP as well so we can do upgrades to our units. 
So you can see we're getting plus six gold every turn, which is pretty good. Not too bad. Hopefully we can improve that a little bit more. But always keep an eye on that. Uh, a good way to do that is improve your trading routes. So have a road between your two cities. Um, as you said, we're, we're losing gold for the units we've got and the buildings we've got as well. So it really does start to add up uh, later on. That's our first unit we've killed within this game. It's been pretty cool. Pretty easy kill. Aha. What is this? And some more ruins. That'd be good. So I'm going to go for this one where the military units gain 50% more experience per sort of combat. Which is pretty nice. It's a very, very important one. Uh, Rome has also grown. We found a barbarian encampment as well, which is pretty cool. I don't think I did. Move over here. We're going to start constructing a mine. So we can get the copper again. So we've got lots of copper. Copper, copper. So an extra four happiness. And plus two gold as well, which is really cool and useful. Let's attack these barbarians again. Ugh. The world's busiest people. So I'm second. I'll see if I found anyone else yet. But the highest guy is on seven. Which means basically means he's built the most. So we can unlock some more research now. So we can unlock... Um, this one's quite tricky. I'm not sure. I'm never, never really sure what to go for. Go back to my city and see if we have any... Sailing's not going to be that good at the moment. Um, I reckon probably bronze workings might be the best way to go. Because spearmen are quite good. At the moment I think we're going to leave it there. Uh, I'm feeling incredibly crap, like ill and stuff. As you can probably tell, I'm slowly dying. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. As always, please make sure you like, subscribe and comment. And just leave me loads of support, it would be really awesome. This episode took quite a while to do. And yeah, I'm not 100%, so a like would mean a lot to me. And a comment as well. And I hope you guys enjoyed it.